And back to our opening day coverage for the Mud Hens with Jeff and Dan. Hey guys. Hey Kaylee, good to see you again. And I'll tell you what, I, I never this never gets old. And and we've talked about it. I, it. It was a moment of nostalgia when Joe was talking, when Joe Napoli was joining us, talking about the days of old, walking down the rickety aisles of Ned Skelton, waiting and having the crunch of the of the peanut shells under your feet. It, it was it was a different experience. This has been fantastic. Uh, I used to live near Skeldon Stadium and we lived a block away from the ballpark when the Mud Hens played their last home game. Yeah. Uh, you know, there in September of uh, 2001, and here we are, you know, and now this ballpark is, we're used to it, but we'll never take it for granted, Jeff, not at yeah, all. It's something for people to appreciate what we have here in Northwest Ohio. Mud Hens opening day, it is a party in and of itself. But the team brings in fans all season long. Now, part of the thrill, theme nights. You know them, we love them. This year is no exception, Harry Potter. Peanuts. There's a special jersey for all walks of life. You know, we have a lot of uh, you know unique theme night jerseys that are also going to be planned this summer. We'll have kids take over back again this year, where we'll let the kids really you know take over the ballpark and, and you know have a kids designed jersey. Um, you know, we have a few other fun ones planned, tied to again rock and roll, uh, the rock and roll week, and uh, peanuts as well. The theme nights are something to get people going, and we talk. Go, go ahead, what were you going to say? No, I was going to say my favorite theme night. <laughs> it's Dan Cummins. <laughs> Dan Cummins retirement no. party night. No, no. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Oh, absolutely. May the fourth be with you. No, it's I made, Star that, Wars I made night. that joke because Joe made the same joke. Yeah, he there said, we go. You, he said, did you retire 20 years ago? <laughs> no time soon, my friends. No time soon. <laughs> we hope not, Dan. We're going to check in right now with Chase and Matt. They are down here as well as our team coverage continues. Guys. <laughs> Jeff, Dan, like we said earlier, we we're really excited for all the new menu items on the Mud Hens concession stand list this year. We talked about the uh, glazed uh, hot chicken sandwich earlier, <laughs> the uh, heated hen. Well, how about this, Matt? If you want to hold this mic for a second, I'm oh, going to yeah. pop this open Let's here. Do it. This is a look at a, uh, a Philly cheesesteak hot dog. You can get a look at it right there. Our uh, Photog Cheyenne getting a good look at it. I mean, it's what you'd expect, a hot dog with a bun, but you also have the shaved ribeye. You've got the cheese whiz, the oh. peppers, everything that you'd expect in a Philly cheesesteak. It's really two things at once. It's this hybrid food. So, Matt, if you don't mind holding this for a second, oh, I'm going to do the honors here. Do the honors. Uh, and when I did first hear about this, my ears perked up because I was like, a Philly cheesesteak, my favorite thing, and a hot dog. All right, so all in one. Nothing. This might be messier than the uh, <laughs> donut sandwich we'll see here. All right, I'm, looks like some explosive flavors there. <laughs> a lot of texture. I like the cheese, I like the ribeye, a lot of uh, texture. So, you know what? Honestly, really not that bad. It's really if you if you like a bacon cheeseburger, if you like oh. multiple forms of, uh, you know, meat in your sandwich, I guess then that would be the way to do it. So, a Philly You're speaking my language. Exactly. Yeah, Philly cheesesteak hot dog. I had never heard of such a thing before, but you know what? I'm a fan now. I got some cheese whiz on my fingers. I'm going to try to clean it up here as I take the mic away from Matt's hand here. I'm going to let him kind of do the honors right. here and he's going to try it himself. We're going to hand off our mic here. here. Right. So, Matt, one bite here. Let's see what your uh, initial thoughts are. We also got some onion action in here too. I love that. He like. I think he likes it. All right. I think, <laughs> I, is it possibly better than the heated hen? Is it better than a, a hot Absolutely. chicken? Really? I mean, and you gave the last one an eight out of ten. So this is to me a ten out of ten. It's a ten out of I ten. I love cheese steaks. I love hot dogs. And have two in one. It's just it's breathtaking to me. Like. Okay. I'm, I'm taking this home. <laughs> All right, Matt says he's taking it home. It's breathtaking. Jeff, Dan, we're going to throw it back to you guys. We're going to enjoy this food. I, I, I'll tell you what, guys. We have been living vicariously through everybody talking about their cool, tasty beverages, and now Chase and Matt trying some of the new menu items. I'm ready for a snack. <laughs> Are you? I saw the guy I talked about a little while ago walking by with that massive pretzel. I mean, right now, anything would sound good. Absolutely. Well, we'll have to leave it there for now, but <laughs> we're going to send it back to the studio.